Hey everybody, it's Canada Day today, so we're going to be celebrating with the Canada Arm 2. Alright, so first let's watch a video of the Canada Arm 2 in action. So in this video, the Canada Arm 2 is going to connect a SpaceX Dragon capsule with the ISS. These types of connections are called cosmic catches. So yeah, it was a very short video, so let's move on. Here's just some info about the Canada Arm 2. Its formal name is the Robot Manipulator System, the RMS, so we're going to be calling it that from now on. It's also called the Space Station Robot Remote Manipulator System, but I'm not going to call it SSRMS, I'm just going to call it RMS to avoid any confusion. So it was a repla it is a replacement for the Canada Arm, the original one, the SSRMS Shuttle Remote Manipulator System. So that's why it didn't call it the SSRMS to avoid confusion with the SRMS. So the RMS and the SRMS was built by the Canadian Space Agency for the ISS. I'm sure you all know that, the International Space Station. The RMS stays with the ISS 24-7, about 400 kilometers to 250 miles in the air. Gravity constantly pulls it down, so it's just around 400 kilometers at this point. Its length is 17 meters. It weighs 1,497 kilograms, about 3,300 LBS, which is really heavy, but if you're watching this video on a later date or something, the, the weight could be different because of missions that could make the cat arm heavier or lighter. So missions always change the weight for the RMS, so don't believe me to the exact point. Just have your rough estimate around 1,500 kilograms. So the point of the RMS is you is to move objects in space, such as shuttles to the correct port to dock the shuttles. Other tasks of the RMS include station maintenance, uh, moving supplies around, and astronauts moving astronauts. So the RMS can help astronauts with their missions, unless the mission is, of course, to fix the RMS. Um, so on the ends of the RMS, there are these things called latching end effectors, LEES, which is just a fancy name for like, um, a, a connector, an attacher or something. It just helps the cannon arm too the RMS, sorry, to connect with the ISS and objects that it's moving around. And the RMS is controlled completely by crewmates from inside of the ISS. But in, just in case of the absence of crewmates or maybe an emergency, the RMS can be controlled by the mission's ground team. Uh, the mission's ground team, meaning the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, or um, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, you all know this, NASA. Over time, when parts of the RMS were out, NASA sends repair missions to fix the RMS. The RMS also has video and audio connection to the inside of the shuttle. I understand the video connection to make sure they know what they're doing, but audio, I don't know, because astronauts talk into microphones inside of their suits. Um, I don't know, maybe to see if an asteroid is hurtling at them at 3,000 miles per hour. I seriously don't know. It was launched on April 19th, 2001. So the government of Canada involved lots of different companies to build 
the ISS. Um, uh, these companies, all almost all of them, are actually local. There, so there were five hundred corporations involved in making this, which is really cool. It's supporting local businesses. All right, so here's a diagram of the ISS. Um, it has two Lees, Lee A and Lee B. Lee B is the one that connects to the ISS. Lee A is for connecting to other stuff. As you see, there's a video distribution unit, VDU, which includes the cameras, the lights, um, the, you know, um, the place, how it gets uploaded. Um, there's a backup drive to store the video and audio. There's an ARM computer. Um, there's a mobile servicing system to send it inside of the, to send the video data inside of the ISS. And the wrist joints, they have all three ways of moving. You know, like if you move your hand, there's roll, oh, yeah, and pitch. Roll is just like roll. Yeah is moving it like horizontal, diagonal. Pitch is moving it horizontal and diagonal. Just the other way. The so launch, we know that, April 19, 2001. Length is different, 17.6 meters. Diameter, so 35 centimeters, 14 inches. That means it's like really thick. Its mass, you see the mass is different. That's why I said not to trust me. It's 1,000. 640 this time and it was what 1400 something the last time so yeah don't trust me the capacity is a lot 116,000 kilograms which is 256,000 pounds which is a lot it's contracted by slash organized by and did the whole thing by the canadian space agency and it was built by McDonald Dwetler and Associates Canada. So yeah, this is cool. And by the way, the location of this on the ISS, it's not permanent, it's not fixed. It can move anywhere. So yeah, here's some quick facts. It was deployed on the shuttle Endeavour. The RMS was installed by Chris Hadfield from the CSA, Canadian Space Agency, and Scott Perzenki from NASA. Fun fact, Chris Hadfield was the first Canadian astronaut to spacewalk. And if you want to see the first can arm, the RMS is currently at the Canadian Aviation and Space Museum in Ottawa, where you can see it on display. So yeah, if you want to see it, just drive down or fly to Ottawa and locate the Canadian Aviation and Space Museum. You'll be able to see it there. So yeah, that was the video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.